Welcome back to Retro Ford. Today we're going to be showing you how you can dress up your ZTEC, whether it be a silver top or a black top, and make it look like a BDA, the belt driven A series. So these are the rocker covers that we currently do. These are direct replacement for the rocker covers. So it's just a matter of unbolting that and then bolting these on. And another product that we do that sits alongside these is uh, the plug leads the filler cap and also the front timing belt cover so um, I think we'll all agree that the CTEC engine is not the ugliest engine but it's certainly not the best looking engine so if you don't want it to look like the back of a Zanussi washing machine then we've got all the stuff to dress it up and make it look like a BDA so we're now going to move on and show you how to fit it now that we've got the front cover and the rocker cover removed, we move over to the BDA style cover. Um, um, as you can see here, you don't need to remove these bolts because these are dummy bolts just to make it look like a BDA. So we'll flip this over and put the gasket on. Uh, normally we'll put the gasket on from the front and work backwards. And you can see there's little upstands here and you push those over like that and then taking care to make sure that the gasket is seated over those bits there. It won't completely sit down until you've bolted it on, but it is quite easy to bolt it on and those not be located. So once you've got all that pushed on like that, you don't need any sealer anywhere. It's ready to go onto the engine. This is a bit where you've got to be careful and make sure that this gasket here is seated correctly. You can just see through the front of the pulleys here to make sure that you've got it located correctly. So once you've got that on nice and square, you can drop your bolts in. So now we're ready to fit the front timing cover. That's an original Z-Tech black top one. Um, and this BDA style one is a direct replacement. A couple of differences between the two. Obviously, aesthetically, this one looks a lot nicer and is in keeping with the rocker cover. Uh, these we have injection molded and they come with these brass ferrules in to give them support. What we have done is when you go to put this on in the kit, you will get these two top bolts. The two bottom bolts will be already on your front cover, but you'll get these top bolts on there. Um, when you come to fix these on, there's these two little spacers here and they sit inside these holes here. So I'm not gonna fit them just yet, but, and you see these two spacers. Now that's to give the brass ferrule a little bit of support on the aluminium so you don't end up crushing that and damaging the ferrule. So that just drops in there um, one other thing to mention is that normally the Ford one relies on these four tabs here to bolt it on. We're only using these bottom two and then on the top we use the rocker cover bolts. Reason for that is that's how a BDA was and these just don't look quite right sticking out the end of there. So if it was my engine, when you come to fit this, then I would cut these brackets off and um, as you can see once this is on you'll be able to see down the side there that it contours around that nicely it's just a matter of trimming that back so what you need to do is you need to drop your little washers in there they're stainless steel support washers they go in there and once you've got those on it's just simply a matter of dropping the cover on and that should then locate on there put your top bolts in now because you've got a brass ferrule, you probably to be a little bit careful that you don't over tighten those. They don't need to be mega tight. Um, so once you've got those fixed, then it's a matter of putting your bottom ones on. Another bolt the other side. And 
there you have it. And if you look, you see, you could now cut that. If you were to now scribe a line on that, you could trim that off to get rid of those brackets. So one other thing we do is the filler cap. And well, I say two other things we do is the filler cap and the leads. So the filler cap that has the same thread as a standard ZTEC rocker cover, not the later rocker covers. This one here, that's a focus rocker cover, a plastic one, which has got a little lock system on it. This has got a thread on it with a ratchet system on these. So these will fit a standard ZTEC rocker cover and also fit this rocker cover that we do, the BDA one. And the nice thing is, is you can index it round to have it so it lines up with the front. So there, you can line that up nicely. Um, and then we move on to the plug leads. Now, these are available in black and blue and in black top and silver top. Now, this end is the same for all of them. But on the other end, that's what a black top coil pack looks like coil pack I say uh, the fitting for a black top coil pack and then this one is a silver top we don't tend to sell so many silver tops these days um, most people are running uh, black tops in the car yeah so when you come to fit your leads it's advisable to get a little bit of grease and put that inside there uh, it just means it's, it, it puts a bit of a seal on but what, what it also does is means that it's a little bit easier to get the leads in and out so yeah, if you put a little bit of grease on those, and it's just a matter of popping these on, and you'll feel a little click there as they click onto the spark plug. And then you can dress them up so that they all come down together. Um, onto the core pack here, and we have a little bit of slack because sometimes people uh, uh, will route them in a slightly different way. Sometimes people bring them down between the throttle bodies there or through the inlet manifold. So yeah, we'll, we'll put them through the inlet manifold here. And the coil pack has got the numbers on. So we're on number one. Number two. It's just there. And then same with your three and four number spark plug lead. And you are number three is there. And then number four over there. So yeah, you would probably make a better job of it than I have there as to routing them. But that, that then means that you can tidy all this up get that to look to look neat um, this is where your coil pack goes and as you can see the coil pack bracket we do that bolts onto two of the inlet manifold bolts and puts the coil pack right in the middle there so that your leads come down to it nicely so for the BDA stuff I think that pretty much rounds it up thank you very much for watching